How's it going everyone? I'm Aaron Nick and welcome to Finger Bones. This is a it's a narrative horror game and I've actually I've spoken to some people that have spoken very highly of the developer of this game, uh David uh Shiminsky. I I kinda hope I'm pronouncing his last name right. And I guess um he's really good at making these kind of narrative games and he's releasing a new game pretty soon and they've kind of spoke pretty highly of his work this is his first game finger bones and it's um I'm, I'm not going to judge it too harshly if there's anything like i noticed wrong with it but I, I don't know it seems like it seems pretty interesting it's interesting and i really wanted to play it this generator something okay turn it off no okay well that's going to be in the background for now We got some knives. Is this a note? Can I read it? Okay. It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm not. I'm really not in the mood. I distracted with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest in myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnecting thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Because I am not depressed, I am enlightened. This is a result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Price of knowledge is not knowing what you want to do. Doesn't seem to be anything like like a sprint or anything. So it's just Oh, this is this is very interesting. I mean this is This is a little oh I wouldn't want I wouldn't want to be like in this, this really doesn't seem like a house. All right, when I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. It, I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt the same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. All right. I guess that information was vital somehow. Can I open cabinets? Oh, I'm typing, but it wants me to type something. I don't know what to type yet. It appears that to be a page from a manuscript. Pop morality is too reliant on emotion and not reliant enough on rational thought. If moral morality must be determined and I maintain that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feelings. Feelings are nebulous subjective and changeable rather i should be able i sh it should be determined by thinking the action of a natural creature are natural and thus moral unless a s concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral so he's a he's a very scientific person so he thinks like very um educate educated as a scientist. Oh, flashlight. Okay. Can I move this? I mean, this is out of place, clearly. I don't think I can move it, though. Another note over here. Maybe this will have, like, the code on it. I don't know why I use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother, a delicate fragile version of her mother damn her katie yeah the, i almost forgot her name for a second it was on the first note i mean i guess that would make sense katie. is that good there did i look at it wrong katie Can I, can I go through this door now? Oh, okay, so that door did unlock. Alright, that... I mean, it, it probably should have changed from red to green, but... I hear some crying. A little girl crying. That seems a little disturbing. Hello? 
It finally happened. The whole world is in chaos of thunders and thunder and screams. And when the ash settles, we will all be wild animals again. Hello? Don't don't get me while I'm reading. I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it st when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I needed. Freedom from all their rational rules and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. This guy has kind of got some, like, dangerous, dangerous, like, mental ideals. I'm not going to click on that yet. I'm going to read the note. But I boxed up everything that isn't practical or useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific edification. I like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just piled them up, up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyways. Um, I don't wanna. Okay, what do I do? Oh, another note, okay. The tool room has been her name for years now and I can't bring myself to change it. The tool room is his wife's name? Lynn? L-Y-N-N, yeah. So I have to go back and change it. Okay. Oh, that would make sense on why that wouldn't change color then, because you're supposed- It wants you to enter in multiple. Okay. We got some puzzles going on. Wait. Okay, that didn't open? Nope. Yeah, I figure it's like, so I probably have to go back down here. All right, nothing new spooky come out. All right, we're good. This really doesn't seem like the jump scare kind of game, but. Okay, what do we got going on in here? Some more just books, all right. She remembered Father's Day and it drew and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into needles or candles. Wow, needles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again and it helps break up the monotony. I yearned for the excitement of those first weeks. Yeah, survival isn't easy. There are things I wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my subconscious. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep these desires locked up anymore. Oh, God. I... This game better not get, like, as dark as it's is going. The more I read, the more it's just disturbing. Probably another code I have to enter. Alright, I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. And then why the rest of the world is missing. The rest of the world is missing. And then why? I'm a little lost. What does NNY mean? Making me go all the way back. Alright, I, I guess it's like good for setting pace. I mean, one thing I would think would be an interesting horror element is like maybe dim this room down when you come back here. And then why? Okay, it didn't it didn't beep when I did NNY, so I might have to research. Alright, I figured out the password. It's NNYL. 
It's Lin spelled backwards. I just... I've been sitting here, I've been going back and forth. I reread every single note up until this point, trying to figure it out. Oh. And now the game has stopped working. Alright, I will reload it. I'll be right back. Okay. Now, I think the bright side of a game like this is the game crashed, but I am I am able to just go through and um re-enter in all the codes so what i was saying was is that i found the code where um i, I mean i didn't find it i, I reread every single note i've i was actually sitting here for like 10 more minutes yeah this is like much darker than it oh i never grabbed the flashlight okay that makes sense i was wondering like why is it so much darker? Um, well, basically, I just I was just trying random codes until it, it dawned on me that it was uh, Lin spelled backwards. It's easy to remember. I probably should have realized it. All right. What's going to happen? I don't know, it's kind of tricky of him, though. Alright, I really don't... I don't want to know anymore. His creepy-ass notes. There's a button right there, but I want to read this note first. I'm a bag of DNA. Wow. <laughs> wow. And I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demanded reproduction i wrote books and created because creativity serves as survival advantages to my ancient ape ancestors i built this place took refuge in it and i spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to rule to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and to protect their genes dreams loves Opinions, desire, beauty, innocence, figments of our collective primordial imagination. Fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time. They s used to serve a purpose and now they are needlessly confusing. And here I am, the last man on earth for all I know, ready to be freed from them. <sighs> this is... This is really, really disturbing. I don't, I don't want to know. Does that unlock this? No. Oh. I, I'll just, I just want to look real quick just to see, make sure I didn't miss a note or anything. Okay, I flipped that switch. Maybe that'll, uh, that'll make it so upstairs. Uh, that one window is open. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Damn, this is... This is some disturbing, uh, information. That, oh, yeah, that's open now. Okay, it's just a... Finger bones! Eh? Found the name of the game. Okay, reading the note. The seller is freedom. Seller is freedom. Let's see what they did there. At the very least, this game is very witty. Seller. Didn't beep. This. Oh, I'm misspelling seller has an A. Damn it. Seller is freedom. Finger, finger bones. Freedom. The password was freedom. 
Okay. Oh, I don't... I don't want to go in the cellar. There's blood down here. There's only enough fruit for... Holy shit. There's only enough food for one. She's going to die anyways, and I am free now. Freedom. I took the end of all humanity for me to be free. Oh no. Yeah, there's blood on the floor. Yeah, there's blood on that table. It seems to have been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know whether the, from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testament to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the safe upstairs. I am content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. The father didn't know why he came back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died, and he was left in a pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. Damn. Okay, so I was playing as him. I, I kind of had a sneaking suspicion that I was playing as the father the whole time, reading through his notes. So, the plot device of that game is that you're rereading all his old notes, and that's giving you the information you need to push the story forward by opening up the doors. Damn. I This was definitely an excellent game. I think I plan on... um. Checking out some of uh, David uh, Shaminsky's other games, uh, and this game's this game's also free. So go ahead and check it out yourself. But for now, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please go down below and let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.